This module will consider the nature of energy and energy management in your organisation. Energy management is concerned with both the technical and non-technical aspects of energy consumption and use. Energy management is defined as the process of managing the energy consumption of an organisation to ensure that energy is used efficiently. For our purposes, an organisation refers to a group or company with energy using facilities such as buildings or factories. An organisation will have site specific energy input output management boundaries. And in our specific case, an organisation does not refer to a group of sites under the umbrella of a company. An energy management system is commonly abbreviated to ENMS as opposed to EMS, the abbreviation for Environment Management System. The objective of, energy, of an energy management system is continual energy performance improvement, and the system will typically target at least a 10% reduction in energy use with no capital expenditure. Energy costs are a good place to start when introducing the concept of systemic energy management to your colleagues. A focus on actual costs will help them realise that energy use in the workplace is actually a significant business cost and seeing the costs involved will help them realise the benefits of an energy management system. Here are some typical unit costs in a factory environment. Effective energy management requires the entire workforce to get involved all at the same time with a uniform understanding of what is required. To achieve that, you need the commitment of top management from the very start. To structure the energy management system, current energy use has to be understood. Therefore, an energy review process must take place before the system can be implemented. After the initial implementation, repeated plan, do, check, action creates a continuous energy performance improvement cycle. And that top management commitment must continue frequent management reviews help to maintain the impetus. The simpler plan, do, check, action formulation may provide an easier understanding of how energy management systems work. Energy is often perceived as a technical issue. In reality, a key factor in effective energy management is people. It's the people who make choices about the amounts of energy they consume and the forms of energy they use. Without an appreciation of people's energy choices and their ability to use energy efficiently, the system won't be effective. In fact, you can go as far as saying that the management of people's choices and skills is the main purpose of an energy management system. Energy is like a living creature. It requires proper supervision and guidance. Energy can only help deliver sustainable business outputs when we manage people's energy behaviour properly. Your business mission is to provide quality products or services that deliver total customer satisfaction at least cost. Energy management is integral to that because least cost requires the optimum use of, of energy. There are plenty of technologies available to improve energy management. In fact, the main barrier to progress is usually people. Change may not be easy. Energy consumption has traditionally been treated as a low management priority. And while energy issues have moved up the management agenda in many organisations recently, it is not often recognised as a high priority. One of the advantages of energy efficiency is that every dollar saved goes straight to the profit line. Many companies would have to sell 10 extra units to achieve that same dollar of increased profit through sales. Keep in mind the key element in becoming an effective energy manager is your skill in managing people.